Hi, Jennifer here, coming at you with a mindful movement break. And like all good movement breaks, this one is short yet effective. So if moving well, if moving often, if alignment and mindful living, if those types of things are of interest um, and important to you, which I'm guessing they are if you clicked on this video, <laughs> uh, please give this video a thumbs up. It's very helpful uh, feedback for me. And it's also really helpful to help others find this type of information because everybody should have access to moving well, right? No matter what. So for this sequence that we're going to do today, it's going to be standing. You don't need any props. You don't need a lot of space. We're upright the whole time. You don't need a yoga mat or anything. So just a little bit of space and yourself. So um, we're going to focus today really on balance and stability and alignment from the feet, like the intrinsic muscles in the feet all the way up, you know, through the lower body, through the posterior chain, through the core, and even aligning, you know, through the shoulder girdle as well in this. So we're getting a lot done in a little bit of time. I like to be efficient <laughs> and that's what this is. So here we go. So uh, in the interest of being efficient, let's get moving. So let's get moving. We're going to start in a neutral stance and we're going to align ourselves uh, feet first because we're standing and it makes sense to work the foundation uh, and kind of stack on top of that, right? So we're going to have our feet positioned about hip bone width apart. So meaning from our hip bones, our ASIS, you can just about drop a line down to the middle of each ankle. So we're, we're not too narrow in our stance and we're not too wide in our stance. And that's important for this version because we want to think about just working really evenly in that neutral position. The feet are going to track straight ahead. So watch that we're not towing out like this, which is a really common thing that we tend to do just in modern life. But we want to have our feet tracking straight ahead to that ankle hinge and foot all lined up. And then let's pick our toes up, spread them out and just place them just really lightly down. So we're not keeping the toes lifted, but we're also not gripping the floor like a claw, right? So have the toes nice and relaxed. And again, you can do this in shoes, but still think about that same idea of just having the just having that lightness on the toes. They're just relaxed. We're not lifting them. We're not gripping them. So just nice and light. We put a lot of weight back under the ankle, which is where we want it, right? That's going to help take pressure off our knees. It's going to really fire up the hip extensors and posterior chain muscles. So good for standing, for walking, for running, all the things we do in our day. So from here, now that we're nice and aligned, we're going to send our hips back as if we're sitting back like in an invisible chair behind us. And we'll just do little pulses to start, just little pulses back here. Now, while we're here, just think about aligning ourselves, because again, just kind of working our way up. So our knees are going to stay right over the ankles, so we're in a vertical shin position. I'm going to turn to the side. You can stay where you are. But from here, watch it. This isn't happening. It's not this sort of forward motion right now that we're going for, but it's this. The hips are going back, and the knees are staying over the ankle, so that vertical shin position. And again, that's gonna really fire up these muscles, which we want, so good for alignment. It's gonna take pressure off our knees, gonna keep us nice and light on our toes as well, right? And the low back is lengthened, so we don't feel any compression, we're not tensing, we're not urging, you know, we're, we're tensing back here, our core is strong, low back is lengthened. So now from here, let's just go full range. So we'll take it down into our squat and then up and down. And let the arms swing forward and back, forward and back. So let's keep aligning. We aligned up through the core. Let's get the shoulder girdle going. So let's have our palms face in towards our body for now and see if you can have your elbow pit. So that little dimple in the front of the elbows point straight ahead because sometimes also in everyday life, right? This happens like our arms sort of start to roll in a bit. Unless somehow, <laughs> unless you never have to be in front of a screen or drive a car or, you know, uh, type, <laughs> you probably, otherwise you probably know that feeling, right? If just kind of everything kind of rounding forward. So this is really aligning everything. And then when we come up, we're going to be mindful when we come up that we're not popping the ribs forward. We're just coming up just to get into that nice neutral. So the, the front of the rib cage just sort of flush with the front of the pelvis at, top, at the top. We're not letting the ribs come forward. 
I was exaggerating there. I'm sure I don't know if you were doing that, but, <laughs> but a, a, a smaller rib thrust is really common. So now from here, let's come down and do little pulses again. So we haven't been at this too long, but, but uh, hopefully you're probably feeling right. That posterior chain firing up core is engaged. We're really nice and aligned, which is, you know, from the bottom up. So nice. So now we're going to go back and do the same thing, but maybe add a little balance in here. So we're going to take it down and then maybe lift the heels and let's add that arm swing back. So back with those hips and up, back and up. Good. And as we lift the heels, watch them to roll the feet. So sometimes this will happen like this sort of thing, but try to press, really keep that evenness right between the in and out step of the foot. So we have some weight to the base of the big toes as we come up. Good. And now from here, we're just going to hold this one up. We're going to press our finger palms so they turn back. We're going to press our arms back and back. So we're going to try to keep the balance. We're going to try not to be like wobbling. So <laughs> pretending to wobble, maybe wobble. But we're going <laughs> to try to stay nice and balanced here. So it's all those muscles we would work actually like in a plank, right? The muscles that stabilize our spine and our pelvis and the muscles that we work in standing balance as well, right? So because we're on our... Uh, we're, we've got our heels up. So we've got a standing balance and sort of plank muscles all activating together. So just really nice. This is a lot like, um, like the Pilates 100 exercise, but standing up as far in, as far as that we're pumping the arms and keeping the, the torso and pelvis stable, different exercise, but <laughs> those two pieces are very similar. So if you practice that, you might have uh, you might feel like this is a little familiar to you. And three, two, and one. Good. Let's take it down. Good. And then from here, I'll just step out a little bit wider. We're just going to kind of shake the hips side to side a little bit. Just get a little release. Good. And then maybe from here, so if you're parallel like me with your feet, we're just going to turn out a little bit. Get a little shake here after all of that work. <laughs> and then we'll come back to parallel and then maybe turn in a bit, not just with the toes, right? But really from the femur, we're just kind of rolling in a little hip shake side to side. And let's come back to parallel one more time. Just get a nice release. Good. Let's bring, come back to that neutral stance. We started just take a nice breath in and out one more breath in and out. So thanks so much for moving with me. Uh, I already feel more aligned and energized. It's nice to have a little, even like a posture reset. I think every so often throughout the day is really nice. So even though that wasn't a, a lot of time uh, and really no prep, we just can stand up and do this anywhere we've got a little bit of space. It's effective and and moving, not just how long we're moving for, but really how often we're moving makes a big difference in our wellness and uh, and how we're designed biologically to to move. You know, we're not designed to sit all day and then move really fast for 20 to 60 minutes and then just go back to sitting, you know. So we're designed to be moving often, you know, so it doesn't have to be a lot to be really effective. So I hope that um, made you feel good. It was so good to move with you and I hope to be moving with you again really soon. Thanks so much.